1964, the Ruby Falls Cavern took on an unusual role when it became a designated civil defense fallout shelter. Several years earlier, President John F. Kennedy expanded the nation's civil defense programs and called for the creation of public fallout shelters across the United States. Selecting Ruby Falls as a fallout shelter was a logical decision, reported a Chattanooga Times journalist on May 5, 1964, explaining that its location deep within the limestone of Lookout Mountain was ideal. Cold War tensions were escalating in the 1950s and 60s, and living with the threat of a Soviet nuclear attack was becoming part of everyday American life. Families with the financial means even built fallout shelters at home in basements and backyards, and children had drills at school that required them to duck and cover. Department stores stocked fallout shelter-friendly provision kits with foods like Hawaiian punch, Campbell's soup, and boxes of cornflakes for families. The mainstay of fallout shelter food storage became especially manufactured survival biscuits that were inexpensive and shelf-stable for a long period of time. Unfortunately, the crackers also tasted terrible. Ruby Falls was one of the many caves across the nation utilized as fallout shelters. Civil defense authorities closely examined Ruby Falls Cavern and determined the cave could shelter 720 people for several weeks underground if there was a nuclear attack. Tins of non-perishable food, drums of water, medical supplies, sanitation kits, and radiation monitoring equipment was stored in the cave to use if needed during a nuclear emergency. The Department of Defense determined public shelters like Ruby Falls should have 10,000 calories of food per person and 3.5 gallons of drinking water per person. This ration was expected to keep a person from starving, but not much more. It allotted six small single crackers a day. Hard candy was also included in the provisions. Fallout shelter signs were posted on the Ruby Falls Castle and next to the elevator doors. Visitors to Ruby Falls walked past the provisions as they toured the cave. Eventually, the nation's fallout shelter program was phased out and the supplies were moved out. It was a unique period of time for the United States and, of course, at Ruby Falls. It's no secret that Ruby Falls has both made history and has seen a lot of history over the years. Thanks for joining us to take a look back at some remarkable Ruby Falls history. Be sure to tune in next week for another vintage moment at Ruby Falls.